Good morning. So I have something to talk about. What? <laughs> what? What do you have to talk about? Nothing. She's back and already get on my nerves. <laughs> I'm back. Oh. Back at it again. Yeah. Um, except for I leave today. Yeah. Um, I'm going to utilize you while I can get some work uh, with some stuff that I need. Yeah, I've gotten better at making coffee. Yeah, I need a little more creamer in mine, but... It's a little strong, but... Yeah, I, I accidentally poured too much. Um, we need to actually get a scoop and do... Measure. Yeah, but... Um, try to get Danielle to help me knock out a few things that would be easier with two people. And uh, then you gotta go back to work. And then you're off, then you work. Then you're off, then you work. So... We're working with her schedule to uh, tag team some projects. Mm -hmm. um, Just a few more weeks though. Yeah. So that's what it's supposed to be, I guess, is you'll train for a month mm -hmm. and then she'll start working three days a week. Uh, I mean a month. <laughs> yeah. 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 Unless I Which guess they need people, you more. Or, yeah, some people are like, they're lying. There's no position that's like that. <laughs> and healthcare, it's weird. Yeah. It's called the ECB. Um, but yeah, there's two full-time day people in this position. And this, my, me coming in is filling the holes um, where they're not there. And, I was thinking yeah. something real smart, but to say... That was pretty funny. Yeah. But I don't know if I can say it, but I'm going to try to Okay, tell this you. is a, the Crocker's Coffee Crew. Yeah. Um, the Triple C's, so. ECB's for Educated Certified. Mm -hmm. True. There you go. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a funny ECB. <laughs> um, but, uh, <clears throat> we, uh, Getting stuff done, you guys saw uh, on the video uh, that y'all hopefully watched yesterday. If not, you can go watch it. But um, the electric company came out, and uh, we we got to figure out what's going on with all of that. And uh, will we actually get power? This will be the first time um, since the very tail end of 2019 that a property I'm working on will have power. Mm -hmm. So four, four and a half years and uh, uh, I wouldn't even know what to do with building a house. Without a generator. And then just like plugging a cord in and have power. I wouldn't even know what to do. It would just... Without the sound yeah. of the generator oh. just blaring, blasting. It's going to be glorious. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping everything plays out uh, well with that, and that um, uh, it's all. Crying. Yeah, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. It's the morning tears. I was kind of like yawning. <laughs> it's holding the it morning back. tears of waking up, being like, "Not another day of this." Mm -hmm. um, no, we uh, we're getting things figured out, and I actually um, have been drawing up different things. So that's, that's how I figure out how we build stuff. How do you draw straight lines like that? Um, stolen hotel keys when we went to Colorado. and It's, it's a memento. It is, and it's going to help us with our future. See? Building. Um, come up with different designs. We actually talked yesterday, and uh, I've been pretty stressed over getting everything done and trying to build a barn and get fencing and this and that. Just and Every time I leave... He gets stressed. My baby needs sleep. Mm -hmm. And whenever I'm not here, mm -hmm. he doesn't sleep well. No, because she's constantly texting me. We got to get this done and this done and hurry up. Don't and lie. <laughs> you be stressed. No. Whenever I'm not here, he just, he doesn't sleep. So I cry at night. I shake in the corner. For whatever reason. I think it's just like... Um, because you miss me. Yeah, that's it. I do miss you. And then when you're here, I sleep real good. Yeah. I do. 
Uh, last night I slept real good. I woke because up. I was here. I know. I woke up and uh, I told Danielle, I said, man, I don't think I remember waking up not once. Mm -hmm. And I forgot what she said. I don't know. Because you hear something. And I said, just, you're always just running through my mind. And then there was more to that conversation. but And then I proved to you that I was correct. That's how the conversation went. Um, but just look at that face. <laughs> what? Uh, the weather is supposed to get terrible. And I mean, according to Paragon, they said it's going to be like 10 days of terrible, disgusting, below zero. Yeah. Maybe negative, not all 10 days, but. Negative 20. Yeah. Wind chill. Um, so we'll be spending today make sure the animals are good, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, really tried to like uh, maybe get some deep bedding for them. Uh, we already put stuff in. And then also, I was looking at comments before this yesterday's video about how I faked the snow and all of that. And uh, people are saying that we need to, um, like on the goat shelter, block to where the north and then... Um, northeast and I forgot what they said but northeast and south winds are blocked yes the northeast and south mm -hmm. so the west side it would just be um, we can block a little bit of it also they can come in and get behind it and stuff um, and then that should be a an easy fix on the way we built it because we can just cut some metal and then throw it on the front and uh, cover up three fourths of that wall or something. Yeah. Um, it'll block that wind. Uh, but the dogs, they're good. They got the uh, dog houses that are um, uh, got straw in there in the beds. And then we we'll just need to reinforce where the puppies don't get out. Yeah, we're gonna do that today. And then um, uh, those dang puppies. Yeah. Maybe we can find some type of like heavy plastic or something that we could stick over the door of the doghouse. Mm -hmm. That way it's like a, like a flap and they can go in, but it'll still block the wind. Or maybe we could do something to where we can... Well, that still blocks all the directions where the wind blows. But, yeah, I'm just saying. But that heavy plastic... An helps. extra. And yeah. then it'll keep that body heat in more. Yeah. But um, having multiple big dogs in that doghouse, it gets some warmth in there, mm -hmm. uh, get some body heat. So, um, luckily too, uh, the puppies, of course, they brand new, they puppies, but they brand new. yeah, um, Lucy, she was street youth. Um, she was just roaming one day and wound up at the person's house that we ended up getting her from street dog. Turned to farm dog. So, I'm sure she probably knows some winter. And then... Um, she knows winter readiness. Yeah, and she fluffy. She's been, she been um, bulking. Mm -hmm. She's been bulking up a little bit. The Crocker women got a bulk for the winter. And the men. Um, we just got to bulk up. Yeah. And then, then we get our summer bodies ready. That's right. Uh, it's, a, it's called strategy. It is. But not pregnancy. Survival skills. That's what it is. <laughs> um <laughs> And, and then um, the uh, big dogs, the old dogs, uh, they, they've been through it. They, uh, they know the struggle of it being cold um, at the old off-grid, the original, the original off-grid. Um, I guess technically that is the old off-grid. It never had power. I yeah. guess it had, well, it had water, but it was a water ball, so it's off-grid. Yeah. Um, the original off-grid, uh, the dogs roughed it with me and then we did that arctic blast in a uh um survival shelter that i built that was rough mm -hmm. that was we bad. have like jackets for the dogs too but what the one who like be the fur wise is like rufio but he does not he'll take them off um it's like bro you need it the most yeah but he'll just take them off um i, I don't know he's a weird dog but <laughs> 
He's the weirdest. Yeah. Um, I mean, if anything, if it does feel like it's getting pretty brutal and we can see they're miserable, um, we can always let them in the camper. That's what we did last year um, mm -hmm. when it got pretty cold. Um, and they'd just be farting up in there, though. Just be farting. Um, but that is the possibility of if it is uh, getting that bad, then we can just run the generator, have the heat going in the camper, and uh, they'll be good. Uh, I know there will be somebody out there be like, that's not fair for the rest of the animals. Well, I'm not going to put breakfast in the camper. Okay. <laughs> I ain't going to do that. No. <laughs> um, but... Uh, you can get on the bed and wild cuddle breakfast. Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, chickens are pretty good at, uh, surviving colds. Uh, I learned from Chrissy that their, uh, uh, cones, cones, whatever they're called, and their toes can freeze. Mm -hmm. And then, um, pigs are pretty good. I mean, you gotta think about wild pigs. They out there roaming. Um, uh, deer are out there surviving in, in the wilds. Uh, so these goats, I'm more worried about the baby goats than I am the uh, mamas. But if they just cut a lot of them, they will, and they always and they, do. And then the livestock boys, if they get slept with in there with them, they perfect. They um, they built for this though. Yeah, that's what they're built for. But I meant the babies even more so because that's uh -oh. even more heat in yeah, there. Yeah, but well, they won't. Um, they'll uh, stay in that shelter. The uh, um, what's it called? Piece of crap is what it's called. Uh, from Harbor Freight. Yeah, little shelter thingy. Carport. Yep. Yeah. The but portable I carport. Which I don't know how much longer is going to last, y'all. We'll have to show y'all the video. It's bad. Um, it was... I did I came out yesterday. Um, it's my first day off. came out yesterday, and I noticed it, and I didn't say anything because I didn't want to stress. And then we were in the car, I said, because we were talking about, like, storage stuff. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. But it's going to break. Yeah. Um... <laughs> We probably would have been better off buying just the tarp and then building a frame and putting it on. And we always can. Um, it's just more of like we spent seven days building that sucker because it was a pain in the butt. I wanted it to last. It, that was such a pain in the butt for like a cheap carport. Yeah. Oh. Very disappointed in it. It is garbage. Yeah. Um, but. Don't recommend. No, but. I'm struggling this morning. I don't know if y'all can tell. You tired? Yeah, I am. Um, so, I need to drink some more coffee. Uh, we'll get the day going. We got to uh, um, get a lot done uh, before Danielle leaves to prep for the animals and all that. And then um, get a couple of things done that I can get your extra hands um, on. And then... Um, no, I'm just... Like, when I'm not here, it is felt. It's a difference. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so then when I come back, it's like, hurry and make up for me being gone. Maybe we always making up and making out. That's right. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you make that noise? <laughs> That's so gross. Why not? That's funny. Well, you do look handsome this morning. Oh, uh, I appreciate it with my, uh, my eyes all puffy and, and watery. Yeah. Just go like this. Do I look handsome? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. This is one of the worst coffee crockers we've done in a long time, but you're welcome. Um, reality of it, tired and... Uh, First thing in the morning. Yeah. This is truly just woke up and... Uh, this is what the people prefer. We'll see. <laughs> um, but we are working on things. We are designing... Uh, like the barn to try to utilize it for multiple things. We're trying to prepare if we can get power, then what are we gonna do? Um, how are we gonna do it? Uh, preparing for the animals for this cold snap. Danielle's back for a smidgen of a time. Mm -hmm. And then- uh, I gotta go to work. And then I work for a day. And then I'll be back. 
or two, and then I'll be gone. Yeah. So it's just where we're at, and we're just keeping you all updated. Yeah. And uh, we hope you guys have a great day. We hope you all stay warm. And uh, I'm just very thankful that we're in Oklahoma. We're not up north. Mm. I couldn't handle those winters. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's not. That's a no-go for me. Mm. That'll be a no for me. Yeah, it sounds being up north sounds nice during the summer. Yeah. But not during the winter. Nope. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. I gotta wake up. Look at them eyes, man. They just puffy. I'm getting old. Why am I like this? Bye, guys.